Hi everyone, it's Kelly Van Washinova with Educational Technology Services at Denison. And this week's Casual Friday Tech Tip is going to work a little bit differently. First, you'll notice that I'm wearing a Denison sweatshirt for my Casual Friday attire. It's paired with my normal sweatpants. I've just kind of downgraded the top a little bit. Um, the other thing you'll notice is that this tech tip is going to be in three parts. It's focusing on how to manage your Gmail inbox to kind of make it easier to go through. I know everyone's getting an influx of emails right now, and I might be one of those causes. So I apologize, but I'm going to try to help you a bit. Um, in keeping this in three parts, the first one's going to focus on general inbox overview. The second one is going to be about filters and labels. And then the third one is going to be about some features in the Gmail inbox called tasks and keep. Now those are going to be more about how to manage um, overall tasks coming in and how you can quickly integrate that with the Gmail inbox. It's really great. So I'm keeping each of these short. Let's get to it. Also. I'm on this like balance board thing, so if I'm wobbling, that's why I promise I have not had wine yet. Let's go. All right, so first things first, I am in my inbox right here, and I actually asked um, Madeline and Ron, who are ETS student workers, to just go ahead and send me a bunch of emails uh, so that I could use them as part of the demo for this. Cheryl's also going to throw a couple at me here in a few minutes. So in here, this is just how my current inbox is set up, and I'm going to just explain real quickly what that is. Um, through here, you can see that I have many new emails in this primary tab. Now I have the configuration for my inbox to be the default, the new default by Google. So that's why it looks like this. So if yours already looks like this, then you don't have to do it. But if you want to look here under the settings, I clicked on the little gear there and under my settings, I can take a look at this here where it says inbox and the inbox type is right there. So the current setting I have is the default by Google, which includes having different tabs for things like social, promotions, updates, and if I, if I uh, hover over those, you can see some of the things I'm getting in those, and then I've included this mark for um, having the start in primary. Okay, now everyone customizes their inboxes a little differently. So looking at this, you can also turn on these markers where if Gmail thinks something is important to you, it'll put this little marker on it. So I could turn those on or leave them off. Um, down here, I'll talk about filters in a minute, but if you decide you want, you can have filters overridden if, if Gmail thinks that something important has come into your inbox. Okay, so this is that default setting there. I'm going to cancel to leave that settings area, but just to see here, I have all of those tabs. Now, what I can do since I have my tabs is I can click on this configure inbox and you can see the different tabs appearing here. So now if I wanted to just turn off some of these, I can do that. So let's take a look at this promotions tab and I'm just going to turn that off as an example here. And pay attention to this where it says, I'm, I'm displaying one to 50 of 106 emails. Now that I've turned that promotions tab off, everything that was in there is going to shift into my primary tab. So let me hit save here. Let's give it a second because it should be putting everything I had in, yep, up here you can now see that I have 1 through 50 of 388 instead of 106. Because when I got rid of that tab, it took everything that was in the promotions tab and dumped it in my primary. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just turn that tab back on. Hit save there. Let's see, maybe if I refresh, yep. It was already going back. So now I can see I have one through 50 of 107. <laughs> so because this is my default setup and I have all of these different areas in my tabs for my 
inbox. Let's say I just wanted to have a clean slate and just empty out my promotions or empty out a different area in here. So I did this, the last time I did this I think was in the fall. And I believe I actually made, yep, I made a folder called Old Updates tab because I was trying to just clear it all out so I wasn't missing anything in there. And you can do that. What you can do there just to make a little label and move these out of the promotions is you can come up here and that will select everything in your view of that tab, but it also gives you the option here to select all 282 conversations. So I'm just going to do that. Now, what am I going to do with all of it? You have a little folder button, and if you click Move To, you can set that into another folder that you have. So I'm going to create a new folder, and it's a label here, and there's a slight difference between folder and label, but I'll try to cover that in a minute. So in here, I'm going to put my new label. So I'm just going to call this old promotions, and then I will put April 2020. And you could even put it inside of another label or what looks like a folder. And then you can hit, and Cheryl just sent me five. And then you can hit create. And it's asking for confirmation and OK. So Gmail is now taking all those promotions out, shoving them in a different label in a different area for me. And they're gone. So now my promotions tab is empty, which is what I wanted to do here. I can do the same for all of my tabs. I can just empty those out if I want. And for the purpose of this demo, I am going to empty some of them because I'm going to change my configuration settings and I don't want to mess up anything. <laughs> Um, for the long run. So personally, I'm going to do that. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, so all I did at this point is just clear out those tabs, which I showed you how to do using the promotions tab as an example. But I've emptied these out because I don't want Gmail to shove all thousands of the emails in here and put them in my primary. Okay, so I'm actually going to reconfigure my entire inbox as part of this demo. So in the primary, I can now see that I have 1 through 50 of 108. And I often hear from people, wow, you only have 108 emails in your inbox? And yeah, that's because I have filters set up and I clean it out regularly. Um, I use the tab system because in my primary, when I have an email that's actually my primary tab, that means I have to do some action with it. I either need to put it into my tasks, I need to clean it up and put it in a different folder or a different label, I need to do something with it. Me personally, I don't like having a bunch of emails in my inbox, so um, I'm kind of a stickler for that. If you are someone who has 10,000 emails currently in your inbox, don't freak out about it. You can actually clean that up fairly quickly using some of these filters and some of these other tips, and uh, that could help you have kind of a fresh start on that inbox. I realized as soon as I cleared out all those tabs that I probably should have started by talking about how you can sort of train your inbox to know what you want in each tab if you choose to have this inbox set up. So something you can do is, do you see here how Cheryl has sent me an invitation to a meeting? Now, I know that this is through my Google Calendar because it says invitation on it, and this is typically what it looks like. Let's say, for example, that Instead of having those go to this primary tab, I'd rather have those go to my updates tab. I can grab this one from Cheryl and drop it into updates. Okay, so then down here it asks, do this for future messages from Johnson C. No, I don't want all of my ones from Cheryl to go into the updates tab, but I want to start putting my meetings ones in there so that it can kind of be trained to do it. You can also change a filter and make sure they all go there if you want. And the same for if you're getting a bunch of emails um, from HR and you want those to go into your update tab instead of your primary, for example, you could pull them over there and then it would prompt you and ask you. Okay, so that's a little bit on just these default tabs if that's your email setting. Let's take a look at some different inbox settings. So clicking on that gear here, I'm going into settings. And the two we're going to focus on 
are labels and inbox. So in inbox, right now I, I already said before I have this default. I can change that and they give me different options. I could do important first. So what that's going to do is I'm no longer going to have those tabs. The only thing it's going to do is do important and then everything else, which is how some people like it. You could also do unread first, and this is what I used to do before I had the option to have those tabs set up. I really like using those tabs, but that's again a personal preference. Something I want to try and I want to experiment with a little bit is doing priority inbox. So by default, these came up because I have played with it a little bit before, but what you can do that's kind of neat in priority inbox is have everything in the same tab. However, your unread will come first, followed by anything you put a star on. And I use stars as a way for me to mentally know where everything needs to be and then you could have everything else after that. So you can even change this. Maybe I just want unread first. I don't like when they tell me what's important, but some people prefer that. Or I could even start here with Google telling me what they think is important. Then my next section could be unread, and then I could do my starred. And that, I'm gonna try that, see how it looks. Um, under these options here, note that you can show up to a certain amount in each of those sections. Okay, and you always have the option here to reset. Since I'm doing the importance ones, I'm going to show those importance markers because I think that will help me a bit. And then now that I have this set up, let's switch it to that priority inbox. If I scroll down and hit save changes, I can take a look and it looks ent entirely different. I no longer have those tabs up top, but I can see here, that it's giving me the important and it's telling me one through 25 of 56 important emails that it has marked as these are important. And then if I minimize that, I can see my unread. So it's prioritizing different things in my inbox, okay? Which is funny because it, it labeled some important and some not. So I'm going to go back through. I don't think I'm going to like that important setting. So I'm just going to go back in and change it through that inbox. And then I'm just going to remove that and have it do unread, start, and everything else and hit save changes. Yeah, and I, I think I like this more. And it's only showing 10. Again, I can change that. I can also click right here on those three dots on the side and have it do 50, which is probably makes a little more sense. And then my starred ones would come next. And again, everything else down there. So that's just how to kind of organize your general inbox settings. So that was part one. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's move on to part two.